Have you ever got tired of going to the same place every single day? Have you ever thought maybe it would be nice just to live somewhere else different for just even a couple days? Well, that's what happens when Mr. and Mrs. Bird decide they want to go house hunting. See what happens in this book that ends up with a very surprising ending, The Best Nest. Mr. Bird was happy. He was so happy he had to sing. This was Mr. Bird's song. I love my house, I love my nest, in all the world my nest is best. Then Mrs. Bird came out of the house. It's not the best nest, she said. I'm tired of this old place, said Mrs. Bird. I hate it. Let's look for a new place right now. She is not happy. So they left the old place to look for a new one. This place looks nice, said Mr. Bird. Let's move in here. But someone else had already moved in. So they looked at another house. This one looks nice, said Mr. Bird, and there's nobody in it. <laughs> You're wrong, said Mrs. Bird. This house belongs to a foot. Nobody wants to live with a foot. So they went on looking. I like this one, said Mr. Bird. It has a pretty red flag on the roof. I've always wanted a house with a flag, said Mrs. Bird. Maybe this place will be all right. Do you see what's coming? But it was not all right. I guess I made a mistake, said Mr. Bird. You make too many mistakes, said Mrs. Bird. I'm going to pick the next house. And here it is, right here. They flew in. They looked around. Isn't it too big, asked Mr. Bird. I like this big place, said Mrs. Bird. This is the place to build our new nest. I think you might be able to tell what's going to happen. They went right to work. They needed many things to build their nest. First, they got some hay. Then they got some soda straws and broom straws. Then they got some sweater string. They got some stocking string and mattress stuffing. They got some horse hair. They got some man hair. I don't think the horse minds. I wonder if the man minds. Soon they had all the hay, all the straw, all the string, all the stuffing, all the horse hair, and all the man hair they could carry. They took it all back to build their nest. That's a lot of stuff. Mr. and Mrs. Bird worked very hard. It took them the rest of the morning to finish their nest. This nest really is the best, said Mrs. Bird. I want to stay here forever. Mr. Bird was happy too. He flew to the top of his house. He sang his song again. I love our house. I love our nest in all the world. Our nest is best. He was so busy singing. He didn't even see Mr. Parker coming. Oh. Uh -oh.
every day at 12 o'clock, Mr. Parker came to the church. Mr. Parker came to pull a rope. The rope went up to the bird's new nest. The rope rang the big bell right under Mrs. Bird's nest. Bong, bong, bong. Mrs. Bird got out of there as fast as she could fly. Bong, bong. When Mr. Bird came in, all he could see was a mess of hay and string and stuffing and horse hair and man hair and straws. Where was Mrs. Bird? I will look for her until I find her, said Mr. Bird. He looked high. He looked low. He looked everywhere for Mrs. Bird. He looked down into a chimney. But Mrs. Bird wasn't there. He looked down into a water barrel. But Mrs. Bird wasn't there. Then he saw a big fat cat. There was a big fat smile on the fat cat's face. There were some pretty brown feathers near the fat cat's mouth. Mr. Bird began to cry. Oh dear, he cried. The big fat cat has eaten Mrs. Bird. Mr. Bird flew off. I'll never see Mrs. Bird again, he cried. It was getting dark. It began to rain. It rained harder and harder. Mr. Bird could not see where he was going. Look at those tears. Crash. Mr. Bird bumped into something. It was his old house, that old, old house that Mrs. Bird hated. I'll go inside, said Mr. Bird. I'll rest here until the rain stops. Mr. Bird went in, and there was Mrs. Bird, sitting there singing. I love my house, I love my nest, and all the world my nest is best. You here, gasped Mr. Bird. I thought you hated this old nest. Mrs. Bird smiled. I used to hate it, she said. But a mother bird can change her mind. You see, there's no nest like an old nest for a brand new bird. What's right there? And when the egg popped open, the new bird thought so too. Surprise! Isn't that a great ending to the story? And that was the best nest. Thanks for listening.